what are we talking about today? We're going to be talking about thoughtful gestures made by stars and their fans through donations and charity work. That sounds great and sounds heartwarming too. <laughs> um, I think it's a perfect uh, opportunity to talk about these kinds of occasions because I think it's very impactful for all parties involved. That's right. We're seeing more and more of these gestures these days. I can't wait to talk about this today on Celebrity Talk. Times have certainly changed. I think fans and stars now have a more intimate relationship than ever before thanks to social media, right? And it's great to see that they're collectively giving back to the community wherever they can. So, on this topic, why don't we start out with a Hallyu star, Julie? Yeah, why don't we start with actor Imino? <laughs> Imino's fans sent in rice donations to the actors so that they could all be gathered up and donated to a child with Welfare Society this past January. Do you know how much rice they sent to? No, how much? One ton. Really? Yeah. One ton? Oh my god. And this is not their first time doing the donations. Actually, Imino's fans are well known to do things like this very often. And they'll probably continue to spread the love like that. And Julie, can you tell us other ways of <laughs> spreading love like that as well? Sure, I have the perfect example for you guys. Um, Imino organized and started the fundraising platform in 2014 called Promise. Promise works with a lot of international charities and um, relief organizations. And of course, Imino's fan club, international fan club, Minos, is involved in it too. Actor Imino and his fans donate to causes that involve children and relief for countries. And in three years, they donated about 400,000 US dollars. Wow, that's amazing. That's Minos with a Z and Promise with a Z, right? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> now, Promise won an award at the Korea Good Brands Awards for all their good work. And I've got to say, well-deserved more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Imino started this uh, fundraising platform because he was really grateful for all the love that he received and he wanted to give back. And of course, his fans definitely support him 100%. This for, uh, platform is really making a positive impact. What a great thing he started. He has started. Imino is actually, as you all know, serving out his military requirements, so we can't wait to see him back in the spotlight. And also our Hallyu star Park Hye-jin is spreading the love. He is uh, doing it with his fans and his fans are helping him so much, giving him so much opportunities to do that. Last September, Park Hye-jin's fan club in China um, started a fundraiser for Chinese children in extreme poverty. Um, when Park Hye-jin heard about the story, he secretly donated 10,000 US dollars. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me one bit. Um, Park Hye-jin has been very outspoken about giving back to community close and far, and his fans have actually followed in his footsteps. So it's kind of this perfect cycle. Park Hye-jin makes his donation with time and money, and so does his fans. It goes round and round and round. Yeah, I feel like. It's the perfect synergy effect. This last um, um, January, Park Kejin and his fans came together uh, for a good cause. There's a calendar that sold to help raise money to support firefighters, and it was almost discontinued. But at that time, Park Kejin's fan club jumped in and saved it. They made a group purchase of this calendar, and they donated the funds to uh, Firefighter Welfare Society. That's great. Wow, there's nothing you can do. You, especially so you got enough people to do that, enough people to help you doing that. And I'm glad that they were all together helping that as well. Yeah, Park hye really appreciate all the support from his fan. And last year, he even told his fans how grateful he was. You know, if there's one thing Park hye is doing, he's certainly leading by example. Any small act of kindness really helps, especially if it becomes a bigger group like Park hye and his fans. Now, for those of you guys who are very friendly with Park hye he has an upcoming movie. Cheese in the Trap is apparently in theaters today, so be sure to check it out. A popular method of giving back these days is for celebrities to donate their proceeds made from their fan meets. Yeah, that's right, like So ji <laughs> Last year was So ji 20th anniversary of his debut, and he celebrated it with Asian fan tour, where he visited fans in eight cities across six countries. The proceeds from this event was donated to children in low-income families, and it was about 95,000 US dollars. Wow, this, the numbers are remarkable. I know that's not the point of today's conversation, but 
it's amazing how much money they were able to collectively raise. Now, turning from one really handsome actor to another, can we pan our attention to actor Kong Yu? <laughs> yeah, Kong Yu, <laughs> our favorite stars. Um, well, since his debut, he always wanted to take part in a good cause with his fans, and that's what he did last year. He held bazaar slash fan meets with 700 fans there, and items from Guardian, The Lonely, and The Great God were on sale. Fans got to buy great items such as Kong Yu's clothes or photo frames from his uh, room on the set. And of course, the proceeds were actually donated to good cause. Wow, I bet Kong Yu's clothes from the TV drama were really popular uh, with the fans. And what do you think, guys? If you were there, you would want to get one of those, right? I didn't know they had a bazaar. Where was I? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you should have been there. <laughs> well, I hope we're going to see more and more of these uh, fan events, fan meet and greet events and bazaar in the future. I think it's about time we talk about the female stars in the Hallyu universe who are giving back their time and money donate for a great cause. Now, talk about a woman who's beautiful on the inside and out. How about Park shin -hye? Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Last December, she helped make kimchi at the Social Welfare Center with her agency people and with her fans. They made kimchi with 700 heads of cabbage. That's a lot of kimchi, I think. <laughs> All that kimchi was donated to 250 families in Poang who had been affected by earthquake there. Well, I don't know if you guys have tried it, but making kimchi is not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy, and I can't believe that they made that much kimchi all together. And I'm sure Pohang families were really appreciating what Park shin and her fans have done. Now, this wasn't the first time Park shin volunteered her time and efforts to a good cause. In fact, back in 2012, she started a project in which her and her fans globally uh, raised money to support underprivileged children. Now, thanks to these fundraisers with her fans, her project was able to raise enough money to build a small study center for children in the Philippines. Wow, I admire Park shin for doing all these good works and I'm sure she's going to continue doing spreading love like mm. this. And I'll have to check out her next project that she helps uh, the children. And now I know we have a lot of A-Pink Sonnaeun fans watching <laughs> and I'm sure we have to talk about her good work as well, right? Yeah, Sonnaeun likes to give back to those in need and that's what she did with her fans uh, this past February. Um, Sonnaeun and her fans did the volunteer work at the Social Welfare Center. Um, they played with the children and children had so much fun with them that they didn't want Sonnaeun to leave. It's really sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, Sonnaeun is no stranger to giving back. I mean, she's taken part in Goodwill projects every now and then and it's great to see that she's starting the year very strong. Now, after that recent event, uh, after volunteering together, with her fans, she actually was able to sit down with the fans and have some downtime together. Mm -hmm. So I think it was a great day for everyone who was involved. Many K-pop idol stars are giving back and uh, giving back to the community, of course, with the help of their fans. Yeah, for example, last month, Wikimiki's fan club donated rice and pet food at the showcase. Uh, Wikimiki will be donating all of fans' donations. Rice will go to a youth protection organization and pet food to an animal care facility. Now, I can't believe they thought of pet food. That's kind of mm -hmm. brilliant. That's like untapped territory, mm -hmm. if you will. <laughs> yeah. Wikimiki's not alone. Uh, G Friend or Yoja Chingu is on their first Asian tour of their career, and they're getting a lot of coal briquettes and rice and ramyeon as gifts. And of course, this is to be redone distributed to donations to organizations that are helping those who are needy. The list of charitable celebrities and fans goes on and on. And fans are doing such a great thing. Fans are making donations in celebrities' names, so that's really great. They're lending helping hand whenever they get a chance. A particular uh, celebrity might have brought them together, but it really is the fans who should really be in the spotlight for their generosity and goodwill. You know, it's really good to hear so many good things and so many people doing good things and I really want to do things that myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Julie, we don't have to describe how we feel, right? Yes, because frankly, yes. it's not the warm and fuzzy feelings. We're feeling quite inspired today more than anything else. And for that, we're very grateful. Thanks for joining us, Julie. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>